Like you did not know, my job is not to make you laugh. My job is to tell a bunch of stories about my life, and then some reason everyone laughs at me, and I don't understand why. So I was one of them. Oh, I'm fat. I am fat. Yo, who saw Black Panther? Honda entrances like Massa, ooh, Massa, ooh, Massa, ooh. And Bobby, what are you doing here? It's challenge day. We have watched from the mountains as your technological advancements have been overseen by a child who scores at your child. And now you want to give the mission over to his friends. He could not even keep his own body safe. And we will not have it. I said, we will not have it though. Ah, Mbaku, leader of the Jabari tribe. Yo, if I enter anywhere, everywhere's Black History Month where I go. It's just fire, right? Oh man, I'm still trying to catch my breath. Woo! Be a win. Be a win, Lord. Breathe through. Breathe through. Let me get that asthma inhaler from my fatness. Oh. See, that's why y'all gotta take care of y'all temples. Y'all just be eating anything. You can be fat like me, dancing all out of breath, and now I need to take a nap. I got the itis. Oh, girl. From the left hand. Hey, hey, let me use But. Do y'all read your Bible? I mean, do y'all read, read your Bible? So, I was reading my Bible, and it was that section where it says you need to pray for your enemies, and so I started praying for my barber. Your barber has too much power, right? Your barber has so much power, he is like a Marvel comic villain. He can rule you for two weeks. Two whole weeks. You go into a wedding with a fitted cap on, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing, man. That's gonna get hot for a little bit. And ladies, the significance of a barber to y'all is your hair lady and your eyebrow girl. I'm telling you, your hair girl messes up your hair, you can look like Beyonce to Steve Harvey real quick. You come out with that new growth in your Congratulations. But this is her response. She'd be like, yeah, I don't know how you got married being that ugly, but God's able. <laughs> she will use the Bible to destroy people. And don't even do something crazy like go to her with some stink breath. Oh, she gonna rebuke you with that heavy preacher voice. Y'all know that voice? Where it sounds like you just got asthma and diabetes stuck in your throat. And you just need to inhale it after every <laughs> So you say, hey, Aunt Carolyn, how are you doing? Boy, get thee behind me, Satan. Lord, please baptize his breath with a tick tack. Lord, please bring your abundant blessing and just anoint his breath with mouthwash. I'm saying, can you just bring him down into the grave and bring him back? Minty fresh. Still knows, everybody's getting these jokes in delay. 
I'm gonna need y'all to get that rainbow word, and I'm gonna need y'all to get it right now. So who grew up in church? Like you've been saved your whole life? So I didn't grow up in church, and I got saved at 19, and I'm 25 now. And hey, thank you, my soul is secure. Ready, thank you, in the Lord. And so, I got saved at 19 and now I'm 25, and what I've seen is that there is a lot of church culture. Everything is super deep and super spiritual, right? Example, no one ever says that church is running long or service is running late. Everyone says the spirit is moving. I just have a question, why is the spirit never moving us to our cars? to be with our families, if the spirit is moving. And then in church, you have a full song that says, you may not come when you want to, but it'll be there right on time. But church always 15 minutes late. How's he on time if church is always 15 minutes late? So, one thing, oh yes, about black church. So we said y'all have a bunch of black people here, right? I love black culture. Who loves being black? I love being black because in black culture, you can say a little, but you're really saying a lot. So black people, we can use two words repeated twice instead of using the full sentence, and y'all already know what I meant. Example. Guys, you're trying to take out your girl, and you ask him, oh, are you hungry? Where do you want to go? Your girl says, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry hungry. She said a little, but she said a lot. You can get a two for 20 to Applebee's, you split the appetizer, you're good to go. So you can say a little, but you say a lot. So you out there, you trying to um, pick out your outfit, y'all getting nice, y'all getting fresh or whatever. You hit up your dude and it's like, yo, what's the weather like? And he says, it's hot. But it's not hot. But it's not hot, hot. Yeah. Yeah. So what is that? That's a t-shirt and some shorts. That's some t-shirt, jeans, cardigan. If you feel a frog, you understand. You say a little by saying a lot. And then picture like one your girl, well it's more for the ladies. One your girl says that she just had a date with a dude. And then she says, oh, he's going to take me um, out to Miami. He's going to fly me out to his beach house. The friend says, oh, he got money, money. He said, a little, but you said a lot. If he got money, money, that's a sugar daddy money. This ain't a little money, this is money, money. That's why I love black people. We say a little, but we say a lot. All right, so the next thing I want to do, I want to tell y'all a story, but are y'all going to judge me if I tell this story? You said yes. I'm glad that you know. Church always be fake about yes. Tell your story, baby. Mmm, seven, baby. Mama's I don't know this. So this is the story of the fattest I've ever been in my life. It's a 100% true story. Fattest thing I've ever did in my life. Speak on it. So I was at my parents' house and I was eating cheeses because Jesus are manna from heaven. Speak on it. But not the regular type of Jesus. I was eat, eating the jumbo size, because of course, I serve a big guy. And everyone knows this rule about Jesus. Jesus tastes better the more that you have. So you eat them all at once. So that's not even like the fat part. So I put like 12 cheeses in my mouth. Pause. And then I'm trying to bite through the cheeses, and what happens is I could not chew them. And anyone who's ever eaten cheeses before, they know that cheeses turn into Play Doh when you're eating. So this thing is like semen as I'm trying to live my life on this couch. So here comes the fat part. In the face of death, I had two options. 
spit out the Cheetos. Cheez-Its. Spit out the Cheez-Its. Or choke and die. And in my heart of hearts, I said, I ain't got to waste for the Cheez-Its. So, another thing, who loves food, bro? I mean, who loves food, people? Amen. Oh. So, I believe that food preaches the gospel so well. Have y'all noticed how many food miracles are in the Bible? Number one, you have God taking the children of Israel and Moses out of the promised land, flowing with what? Milk and honey, Ibel. Not water and granola. Not salad and lettuce, but milk and honey. You have Jesus, what is his first miracle? Turning water into wine. That's a red Kool-Aid packet at the barbecue. What you mean? Jesus, wine, goats, all these things preach the gospel of Jesus Christ in the most beautiful of ways. What is Jesus' nickname? Jesus' nickname is the lamb that was slain. Not the celery that was sauteed. I'm saying food preaches the gospel better than anything else in your life. Do y'all remember for everybody that always try to tell me, Winston, you need to eat better so you can live longer. I'm like, do you got live longer money? Healthy food ain't cheap. Healthy food is expensive as all, all get out. So last thing, <laughs> my dude, y'all dying. <laughs> so last thing about eating healthy, when is the first time that someone has eaten healthy in the Bible? Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden sent everybody to hell on a diet. They were eating from the fruit. Fruit starts with F. Flames start with the F. Forsaken starts with F. Fornicator starts with F. Fire starts with F. They ate the fruit from the tree of life. Tree starts with T. Noel starts with a T. Temptation, trials, tribulations. Hey. But lambs, bulls, goats, all for the atonement of sin. They all are meat. What else starts with M? Messiah. Money, miracles, everything that is good in life comes from not eating healthy. So who remembers um, communion? Y'all know about those little communion cups? With the driest of styrofoam crackers and the most disgusting of great off-brand juice? I don't understand why this is supposed to be a representation of Jesus, but it ain't got no type of flavor. Everybody know Jesus was black? How does my communion Jesus not got no flavor? Why that um, styrofoam cracker tastes like they got the wood from Noah's Ark and try to feed it to us? What I'm trying to say is that people we need to upgrade our communion. And you're going to see that church attendance is going to go up. Get us some Welch's. Get us some Popeye's biscuits. Everybody, what? Black people don't like Popeye's. Y'all want some cheeses. What type of cheesy Jesus y'all serve? Jesus. What? What type of vegan do you serve? 
gluten free Jesus, that sounds like mayonnaise. That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like Catholic Church Jesus. I need a deep Southern Baptist Jesus where I need him. wants us to eat the best that we can eat. Do y'all remember the story of the prodigal son? In the prodigal son story, he took his inheritance, left the kingdom, went to live with the pigs, but when he returned, what did his father say? He said, kill the fatted calf. He did not say the little calf. Have you ever seen a fat vegan? Never. Have you ever seen a fat person? Every barbecue. <laughs> Jesus wants us to have life and life more abundantly. I'm just saying, some of us are living in our overflow, in our ministry. <laughs> and have y'all noticed, have y'all ever been to African or Caribbean church. Wait, are y'all black, black? None of us from the motherland. My African Caribbean peoples, y'all make some noise. Hey, I like the both of y'all that are here. So, an African or Caribbean church, they be twerking for real. Have y'all seen that on um, Discovery Channel? <laughs> y'all say y'all haven't been to black church, so I think y'all got cable at least. Being able to forward anything. 
And this person is always trying to one up you, so you just have like this last one. Uh, I was so broke, I couldn't even go to the hospital when I got hurt. So I always had to just kill over and die. But here he comes. I was so broke, I couldn't even afford a body to get hurt. My mother birthed me with no neck. Had to watch the movies like this. And that one got your hair. So, have y'all ever had someone with an ugly nickname? See, the worst thing about nicknames is that they are never clever. They're always about your appearance. So, guys, I have this theory, and it's called the nickname theory. If you want to find out if a girl likes you, give her an ugly nickname. Because the uglier the nickname, the more she has to like you to answer to it. Because think about it. What is the most common nickname out there? Honey, baby, babe. No, it's Big Head. An ugly nickname. And you know why? Because she likes him. So the next time you see a girl, just be like, I ain't rubbing neck. I ain't rubbing neck. Your neck looking extra loose to that girl. You looking like a newborn deer learning how to walk. And then here she comes. Oh my gosh, Quintavious, you know I got a condition. <laughs> or picture like, you know, a girl that just got like some ashy knees. Call her ashy knees. Be like, hey, ashy knees, Shanice. It looking extra cold today, girl. You got those smoky the bear, only you can prevent wildfire knees, girl. And then here Shanice comes. Oh my gosh, the dairy is, you know I got a glandular problem. <laughs> or picture, what if your girl you like just, just strong? What you gonna call her? Fat Bat. Hey, what's up, Fat Bat? Well, Fat Bat Burton, you looking extra swole today. Looking like a D1 middle linebacker. No help, all shows. And here come Bertha. Oh my gosh, my name is. You know I got a glandular problem. <laughs> Ugly nicknames make life because it builds character. So guys, if you give a girl an ugly nickname and she answers to it, marry her. She has no self-esteem. <laughs> It's not about the name that they call you, it's what you answer to. So last thing to see if y'all relate to me is just a bunch of questions that I have. So first question, why does heaven have gates? To keep out Jehovah's Witness, no doors. suspended and you're a bad kid, so I got some theme songs for you. We are farmers, heathens, criminals, villains, jokes. So, next one. I have a structure settlement and I need cash now. ISS, OSS, every day of your life. <laughs> Alright, so last one, last song. Um, if you know this song, then most likely you got suspended. Every day when you're walking down the street. Everybody dance to me. <laughs> Listen to the river. Yeah.
along with each other. Hey, thank you all, Mr. Mayor. That's my time.